YouTube, my name is Fred Bergeron from Inaccess Security Systems. I hope you know well today. Um, in this video, I want to quickly show you how to batch add uh, cards uh, slash users in a Protege GX. This is very useful if you just purchase, let's say, 200 cards from us and you want them to be created in advance inside the Protege GX platform and then you can just pick the next available one uh, for the next uh, visitor or uh, you know, uh, employee that you need to add into the system. Okay, so when you get your box of cards, usually you will find the side code and the beginning and the end of the card numbers already printed on the box. So it's very easy, you just enter those values. So let's have a look at how it's done, all right? So from the sides tab, you want to go to batch add users. Okay, uh, you don't necessarily need to be uh, to put a name uh, or you know a first name and last name. I like to put spare like this. Um, let's say so we know it's an, an, a user that's not a valid user yet. Okay, so this is where you will enter the the family number or site code. Let's say I put two fifty. And this will be the, the beginning and the end, okay? So th this example is, let's say, with a, a, a box of 100 cards or tags, okay? Um, typically, I don't assign them to an access level already because you don't want the card to be used if it's lost or stolen, okay? Without using the software to validate and enable it, okay? So I want to click, okay? If I go now to the users page, I have my spares already created and you'll see that there is no access level assigned, okay? So this card, if you badge it on the card reader, it's gonna do like this, long beep, because it's a, a, an unknown card in the system. It's not a valid user yet, okay? So this basically was a very simple way of creating hundreds of different cards or users at once, okay? And then as you go, as you start assigning those cards to users, you just pick one of them, give it a name, give it, make sure it's the correct card number that you take inside the box, give the user a pin if necessary, and then you can simply add the users, the user, sorry, to, to an access level, okay, and save. Then it will become valid, all right? Again, this was a quick tutorial on how to batch add users inside Prodigy GX uh, from, uh, that is sold by Nexus in Canada. Um, if you have any questions, comments, send them down below. Uh, we would li like you to uh, subscribe to our channel, like the videos, and if you have any questions, we're here to help. All right. Thanks for watching. My name is Fred Bergeron from Inaxis.